And we have business and also sports in this mix. Straight to the news, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union has resolved to reject the proposal of including non-professionals in their body. The medics claim self-regulation is practiced around the world, terming the health amendment bill as draconian. At the same time, they are calling on the government to streamline the healthcare system and urging counties to budget appropriately for health care to avert the COVID crisis in the country. Doing that such that any quacks from Cuba or any quacks from anywhere, they, 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 their cousins and their nepotism will be highly uh, brought about by that. So as organizations and as unions and as societies, we are coming out strongly to repudiate that. Because there's not any time whereby doctors have been the judges in the high courts there's no time where doctors have been the heads of, uh, of, of editors of schools. So in any profession, for technical purposes and for things to parade and for one inch to get the better health services that they need, we need to have self-regulation. The other issue that we have discussed is the issue of COVID-19 situation. In the country, it is quite shameful that only 0.7% .7 of Kenyans have been vaccinated and less than 0.3% of healthcare workers. Of 1.2 million uh, healthcare workers, only 55,000 have been vaccinated. And it, this is happening because the government is over relying only on charity and donation. There's need for the government to budget and buy the vaccines for the Kenyans and for the healthcare workers. Because that's what we are saying. The proposals that are being made by the ministry and the set do not add any value to any professional regulation. And that is why we are saying anything that is progressive must demonstrate a, a, a value addition to what we are doing. And we are saying as professionals that this should be refused and the parliament should not be actually be pushed to do this because this will be retrogressive. And uh, I want to say that this attempt to push such a bills to parliament is happening at a time we the healthcare workers are spending a lot of time actually a lot of our energy to ensure that we are fighting the covid